that may look like an airtight alibi, but I can't explain how this peacock feather ended up in your car. Now, can it? It just couldn't be me. I was at the opera. What? Where is it? Oh, man. Where could it be? Sorry, sport. The gag's played out, see? Your wife spilled the bean. She sang like a canary. Oh, She's come on. It's got to be here. To the nine, and I've known it was you all along. Hey, I was watching that. Have you seen my comic book? Which one? My comic. Mine. The new one I finished like a week ago. Oh, that comic. Well, how would I know where it is? You always keep them locked up so no one can see them. Z, give me that. You know, you've really got to get over this fear of people reading your comics. It's a real drag. I'm not afraid. As a matter of fact, I was going to let Cooper read this new issue before school. Oh, yeah? Besides me and Cooper, who else have you let see them? Uh, does z Bob count? No, no, he doesn't. Sharing one's work is the essence of the scientific method, so others can test it, build on it. Why, if the amateur fossil hunter Mary Anning hadn't shared her passion for paleontology with the world, Charles Darwin couldn't have used it to inspire his own theories about evolution. Now, before you go, Miss Putnam asked me to remind you that all submissions for the fall festival theme are due to her no later than tomorrow, okay? All right, now get out of here. Hey, Coop, are you finished with my comic? Can I get it back now? Sure, I got it right, uh, ooh. What? You still have it, don't you? Sure, it's in my locker. I like the other flyer better. Picture was cooler. This club isn't about being cool. It's about uncovering a vast global conspiracy. Plus, I ran out of printer. Come on, I gotta get to class. Can I just have the comic back? Well, <laughs> I, I would give it to you. Just one problem. I don't have it. What? That was the original. You know I don't make copies. I'm so sorry. I, I don't know what happened. I, I put it in my backpack right after you gave it to me this morning. It should be here. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Oh, so perfect! I know just what to do. Meet me in the library in five minutes. Excuse me, I have a book on hold. Dreams and Other Conspiracies by Dr. Panderson. Just let me get this straight. You want me to miss Tater Tot Tuesday because Mateo lost one of his comic books? Yeah. Well, uh, I guess I kind of lost it. And we're here because he thinks someone reshelved it? I'll tell you why we're here, Slick. Because every good detective knows the first step to solving a case is rounding up the usual suspects. Is he? Would you stop playing around? I asked you for help, not whatever this is. Quite tits. We're gonna do this my way, see? Cause my way gets results. It gets down to brass tacks. It gets down to the real nitty gritty. Wait, are you doing like a mystery thing? Man, my moms watch all those detective shows. The CSIs, the FBIs, the LNOs, anything with all those alphabetic things. Letters? So, you know, if you need a street smart renegade cop who plays by his own rules, I'm game. Sorry, Poindexter. Gumshoe Izzy works alone like a lone coyote prowling the streets at night, knocking over the trash cans of truth. She's got no time for a sidekick. Sidekick? Who are you calling a sidekick? If anything, I'm like a, uh, a front kick. There's uh, no such thing as a front kick. Oh yeah? What about this? Hey, uh, so slippery here. Who cares? Shh. We need to figure this out. I'll Die if anyone sees my comic. What comic? Oh. Zoe? What are you doing here? What is she doing here? She's the last person I want seeing my work. Because, like I told you, I leave no stone unturned 
like a lone squirrel, digging up the dark acorns this lousy town's too scared to see. Hey, Zoe, check it. Settle something for me. If there's a sidekick, doesn't that mean that there'd be such a thing, ergo, as a front kick? Huh? You're an idiot. Oh, this is so boring! How long do we have to do this? Until you have learned these pesky children's next move. You heard the boss. <laughs> hey, wait. Why don't we just invade the waking world with an army of these things? That's... Without that green blob, mere spying is the limit of my power in the waking world. But you're going to fix that for me, aren't you? That's right, boss. And when your army of evil hats destroys them all, I'll be your new right-hand Grimspawn. Why you? Hey, I did the hat thing. No, it should be me. Oh, you're going to get all the credit? I don't think so. Move over. Let me have a shot at that thing. Show you how it's done. <laughs> Hours. Starting with you, Zoe. Care to explain why you were suspiciously absent from your morning math class? Or do you want to make things easy and just confess? Okay, I confess. I knew it. I confess I wasn't at school this morning because I slept in. I was in the dream world late last night because something broke into my cave. Aha! Uh -huh. Our first crack in the case. Tell us everything that happened. <laughs> Well, I came back and the place was totally trashed. Like somebody was looking for something. searched the whole cave and found... A bone. Yep, a huge bone. Like I said, it didn't make any sense. Then I spent the rest of the night cleaning up, so I was late for Mrs. Castillo's grocery delivery, which is why I missed my first class. A huge bone? Wow, dreams can be so random, right? Anywho, thanks for the help, Zoe. Why don't you just get back to your day and... Was anything missing? No, that's what's weird. I mean, I've had dreamers break in to steal my awesome loot before. That's why I have so many booby traps. But usually they actually take something. The plot thickens. Boss promotes us for this. It was all my idea. It was? I thought it was Susan's idea. Oh, yeah? You want to knock on the head that jog your memory? Zip it, zip it, zip it! Gotcha! Uh, sorry. Thought I saw a spider. <laughs> Look, Iz, none of this has anything to do with the comic. Comic? It didn't go missing until this morning. I'm the one asking the questions here, chum. So why don't you just walk us through exactly what you were doing last night? Right up until the time you lost the comic. Last night? Uh... I was at the landing, working on dreamcrafting some new stuff, when Tao called me on the dream screaming. 
He had an emergency. What kind of emergency? Uh... A pretty heroic and awesome emergency. Yeah, so like he said, pretty standard dream chaser stuff. So, who's going next? Okay, I gotta get going. Have fun with whatever this is. Oh, you know, Zoe, there's just one more thing. That delivery you made to Miss Castillo's this morning. You didn't happen to deliver any ghost peppers, did you? Ghost peppers? Well, yeah, actually I did. How did you know that? Oh, well, we'll get to that. But first, I've got an alibi to poke some holes in. You see, Cooper did get an emergency call from my brother last night. But it wasn't because of an attack. And it wasn't at Zoe's peak. It was at Zoe's cave. Wait, what? You two are in my cave? Uh, well... That, that's crazy. Why in the world would you think that? I won't tell you. Logan will. <gasps> uh, I, I will? You see, there's no way Pillow's Peak was under attack last night. Because Logan and I were there. You were? What were you doing? Oh man, do I have to tell them? I have a life outside of sports, you know. Yeah, but K-pop dance moves? So it was you two that destroyed my cave. That stuff wasn't even mine. I was fixing it for Mrs. Castillo. I'm so sorry. It was a total accident. We didn't mean anything. We were just... You know what? I don't want to hear it. You made me late for class. You wrecked my cave. So you can just spare me the lame excuses. <laughs> oh, she's mad. Man, what in the world were you guys thinking breaking into her place? We weren't breaking in. We were... We're... Uh, I don't know why we're talking about this when it has nothing to do with the missing comic. Oh, but it does. Because it all adds up to Zoe's late morning delivery of those ghost peppers. It was a quiet morning on the block. Little did my client know it would be the last time he would see his precious comic. Well, what do you think? It's great, Mateo. Better than the last one. Uh, can I please read it again at school? I don't know. Come on, I'll give it back to you at lunch. I promise. Give what back? Enter the wild card. So he's late delivery and a quick stage exit on that purloin paperback. Uh, nothing. Just something that Cooper is going to read later and not right now. Isn't that right? Ah, Mika, there you are. Do you have my peppers? Yeah, Mrs. Castillo. Sorry, I'm late. I had a rough night. I'd stay to help you unpack, but I got one more delivery before school starts. Oh my, you'd better hurry then. It's almost eight. Oh, shoot, she's right. We gotta go. And that's the moment you all missed. <laughs> Smell that? Ghost peppers. Which means your backpack and that bag of peppers were right next to each other the last time anyone saw that comic. <gasps> So that means the comic is at Pillow's Peak. Boom! No, you turkey. It's on Mrs. Castillo's truck. Come on, brother, let's roll. your plan? <laughs> the scene of the crime. Mrs. Castillo, do you still have that bag of ghost peppers Zoe dropped off? Uh, no. I chopped those up this morning. 
And you didn't find anything else in the bag? No, I don't think so. There! My comic! You do have it! Oh, is that yours? I've been reading that all morning. You have? And you don't think it's lame or anything? Why would I think that? I don't know. I always kind of worry. It doesn't really look like all the other comics. The professional ones, I mean. You know why people like my ropa vieja? Hmm? It's not because it tastes like all the other taquerias in town, no. They like it because it's a little different. Because it's one of a kind. Just like this is. Well, that wraps that up. There's just one thing I can't figure out, though. Why were you two in Zoe's cave in the first place? <laughs> well, that's kind of a funny story. Cooper didn't really have anything to do with it. I called him over there because, well, I had a little situation. I'm right outside the cave. Where are you? Coop! Back here! What's the emergency? Right here! <gasps> Tail? Uh, uh, uh. What the heck are you doing in here? Down there! Careful! This place has booby traps everywhere! A bone. You brought Zoe a bone? No, that was in case Zion was here to keep him quiet. I brought Zoe that. I was gonna leave that note to ask Zoe to the Fall Festival and well, we might have tripped a booby trap or two or a whole bunch actually. I've made a real mess of this place. <laughs> <sighs> This trouble and now you're not even gonna leave the note it's just the timing's off no it's not you're just chicken it's just like you and your comics and you won't show them to anyone but izzy and me i'm not chicken i just what if what if she says no what if people hate my comics but what if they don't i can't i can't let zoe know i was ever here Oh boy. Uh oh. Don't ever bring me back to a cave again, Mateo! Uh, uh, ah! Yikes. Promise you won't tell Zoe. A good gumshoe knows when to keep his lips zipped. Though I gotta say, big brother, you'd get in a lot fewer messes like this if you weren't so scared of putting your work out there. Yeah, I guess. Hey, Mrs. Castillo, you really think my comic is good? Of course, mijo. The only thing I ever lie about is whether the hot sauce is safe for beginners. <laughs> Do me a favor, will you? Next time Zoe comes by for a delivery, see if she wants to read it. You should show her yourself. I don't think I can. You can't tighten your shell forever. Something Senor Tortuga likes to say to me. So, with the elusive comic return and a reticent writer emerging from his shell, this grizzled gumshoe can finally call this case closed. Behold! Hey, that's my hat! The moment of redemption is here! For at last, I have proof that there are dark, mysterious forces afoot in this school. A force that threatens to control not just our dreams, but even our headwear! What is she on about? Nova's acting weird again. Prepare to have your minds blown! Uh, what? Uh, come on! <laughs> Jump! Walk! Do, do whatever you were doing! Huh, I, I promise! This hat was sentient! And it was alive! Oh, come on, you stupid thing! See? They probably didn't notice a thing. This is all your fault. I don't understand why it stopped moving all of a sudden. 
If you're done, I'll take that back now. Thank you. No, 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 no. I know you were all up to something. What are you hiding? <clears throat> are you hiding? No, stop! It's... Uh... It's... a little dark. At least as far as ideas for the Fall Festival go. Fall Festival? Yes. Isn't that what this is? A submission for the Fall Fair theme? That's exactly what it is, Miss Putnam. Yes. Oh, righty. Uh, then I'll go post these outside my classroom with the other themes so we can see what your fellow students think of it. Wait, the whole school's gonna see those? Uh, Miss Putnam! Miss Putnam, I'm not sure those are ready for everyone to see. They're rough drafts, really. Practically unfinished. Hmm. So, they want a nightmare theme for their fall festival, do they? I think we might just be able to make that happen. And give them a party the waking world will never forget. <laughs> <laughs>